All right, hello, guys, and here you guys into the gameplay. And uh, I've got a 43 and 7 uh, KEM gameplay. Uh, this is a uh, on on the map Sovereign. Uh, I started off the game using the uh, the little uh, SVU that I used in one of my last videos. Uh, the marksman rifle I used it uh, in the beginning and, and wasn't really feeling it on this map, so changed it out to the K7. Immediately, you see it seen earlier. I got a, that three piece and. I'm just killing these kids in their spawn, and, and it just immediately just dominated with this gun, uh, and, and it led to a KEM. Uh, today, or yesterday, I guess it is now, I got I got three KEMs in, in, in one day. Uh, keep putting it on my Twitter. I think I, I just, every time I get a KEM, I'll just put it on my Twitter. <laughs> I'll just put whatever KEM it was, and that's it. Because, uh, I mean, it's, it's become a habit now. Uh, yesterday was a ridiculous day for me. Uh, I did really good all day. And I swear it's this it's the setup I'm using. Uh I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Uh I started I got gold on my AK. Uh first gold gun I got in this game so far. So uh it's really uh it looks pretty cool gold, I guess. Uh but, but as as for the title, uh channel update, uh I'm been I got a sponsorship uh with V T uh S Productions, I think is who it is. Uh, they hit me up via message, uh, via YouTube message. Uh, once again, VTS Productions. Um, I got their background on my YouTube now. Uh, you might hear a train in the background or whatever. We're going to keep rolling. Uh, the background actually is a template, and I actually put the full screen partner, Dynamic 12, and all that Twitter stuff on there myself. Uh, I've never really done a background before. never really knew what to do. Uh, just figured I'd, I knew how to do that, I guess. Uh, I had, all I had to do really was take a, the transparent Twitter and YouTube black logos and then just type my name in and add the, the text uh, stuff to it. So, I mean, I guess it was pretty easy. Uh, but, nonetheless, uh, they're called VTS Productions. They've got about, uh, they got a, they got a big, nice channel. they got a few other channels that they, they have broken out into. I believe they sell controllers as well. I'm gonna put their whole thing into the description. Everything that they have, uh, I'll put the whole thing in the description for you. Go check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, the guy that I talked to, I don't know his name, but he's pretty awesome. A uh, really nice guy. Straightforward with the questions I had and all that stuff. So, uh, very nice to be a part of it. Uh, as always, I'm always, you know, looking out, you know, to uh, become part of something at least. The HCU is is one of those things that I started out in, and I really still enjoy it. I got a video waiting to be uploaded now. Uh, uh, actually, it is a it's a KEM gameplay too. Actually, a 40 and 6 gameplay on uh, freight, I believe. Uh, but yeah, really glad to be a part of it now. Uh, like I said, I got it. I got the message on Christmas Day. I think as a message asking if I'd be interested, and of course I said yeah. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty cool. I didn't really get anything for Christmas, so I guess that was the one thing I got. <laughs> The one thing I got, I guess. I really, did, I'm dead serious. I didn't get anything. All I got was like ten bucks for my grandma. That was it. I guess that's what happens when you get older. Uh, oh well. Um, but the final thing I wanted to talk about over these last few, uh, I don't know, six, five minutes we have. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the challenge series that I started uh, Black Ops in Black Ops 2. Uh, towards the end of Black Ops 2, I didn't really have that much time to do it. I really wasn't really caring about that series because I was focused on uh, getting nuclear gameplays and all that stuff. So now that I have time on my hands, or I've gotten a pretty good amount of KEMs, you know, built up. Now I think I want to go ahead and, and try and start this series back up. It's a series that a lot of people liked, uh, or a few people liked, I should say. Uh, it got a lot of love, I guess. I believe. The shotgun on Yemen, the first one I think, got a, uh, like 90 something views. Uh, so it, it was well responded, I guess. Uh, so in the comments, uh, or you know, hit me up at some point uh, on Twitter or something. Uh, give me a class setup uh, to use, a reasonable class setup, not some stupid ass class setup. Uh, something that could be realistically done. Uh, and I'll try and see if I can do it. Uh, I don't really know what what the possibilities out there could be. I guess Riot Shield or something, Riot Shield only or something like that. I guess I could do that. I could try at least. 
Uh, but stuff like that, stuff reasonable, so, something that that's more realistic, something that's realistic for me to do. You know, knife only isn't gonna do it. I, I there's no way in hell I do good with a knife only uh, at all. But just throw some out there. Uh, I'll see what I can do with them, and uh, it should be interesting to say the least. Uh, the first one was the first three challenges. I think I only have like three of them up now. Let me take a look. I have three up. Yeah, there's three challenge series videos. They were pretty pretty good. Uh, it was the shotgun on Yemen. I got a, like a 20 gun streak. Uh, then the FAL uh, challenge, which was a pain in the ass. A lot of people wanted to see me use the scar, so I got it. Uh, those are only three that I have right now for Black Ops 2. Um, so challenge number four is next, and uh, that should be pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but like I said, that should be interesting. Uh, the, like I said, the challenge series for me was pretty cool in, uh, Black Ops 2. It was really, like, a fun way to, to do something different. Because I was all, like, like I am now. Uh, you know, I find a setup, and I don't really want to change it, you know. Uh, like I said before, I've got all my special, I, I've got every class now a specialist. In the exact same setup with, with the AK class I've been using. Just because I've gotten so used to it. Uh, and I can't go without the perks, you know. And it's just, it's one of those things where... You know, if it's not broken, don't you know, don't fix it. You know, it's just kind of like that for me right now. Uh, and it's it's really helped me get KEMs. I mean, it's really a, a been a big factor. I know I I've, I've mentioned before, uh, in a in another video, I think it was the HCU video. I talked about is support better or is specialist better. And now I'm starting to wonder whether or not if specialist is better. I mean, it's it's just you can get so many good perks. Uh, you know, with the perks you already have and with the perks you already equip. And the perks that I've got together just work so good. So, uh, so I guess support is a good thing. I mean, you, I've, I've picked up vests from teammates still. You know, and it's still just, I mean, if you could have both, you know, it'd be even better. I, th I don't think I'd probably ever not get a KEM. Because uh, the vest really does help a lot. It's not as good as it was in Modern Warfare 3, but they help a lot uh, still. But, uh, I mean, it's just... It's just one of those things, I guess. I uh, really into specialists right now. Uh, once again, I mean, it's it's just been a pretty cool little setup. They all it all goes together so well. So it's just been a great great little setup to use, and it's 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 fucking insane. Uh, but like I said earlier today, I got about three KMs in a row, or not in a row, but all on one day, and I put them up on my Twitter. All right, like I mentioned it, uh, I'll go through right now and just give you guys a glimpse to what's to come. Uh, I got a 37 and 1 on Overlord. Uh, I'll be looking for that. It's the next video. Then I went 39 and 7 on Stormfront with a KEM, and then 58 and 5 on Warhawk. So, those are the next videos to come out. I'm really looking forward to the, doing the commentaries on those as well. Uh, but this game was really crazy. Uh, as you can see right here, it's, it just this is the final kill, I believe. But I run around some more uh, for some reason. I guess you know people didn't wanna whatever, but. Uh, like I said, VTS Productions, a big shout out to them. I'm going to put their all their info down below. Facebook, Twitter, all their YouTube channels. But I uh, appreciate you guys for watching as always. And peace out.